<sighs> Hello everyone, this is Fall to my Sky Needle vid. The method used in my earlier vid is old and also kind of sucks. Yeah, outdated already, huh? Well, after getting to the Sky Needle myself, I've learned a lot and my video had some flaws I'd like to address. But I don't feel like going over everything in the old video. All I'm going over this time is a method and what to do when you get there. Once again, we start a Gamer Fried Zombie. Here you want to set up a trick known as the Gamer Fling, discovered by Limit Not 22 Characters or at Jacob 905 Art. There's two parts to the Gamer Fling, the Rope Warp and the Momentum Redirecting Double Jump. Let's start with the Rope Warp. When on a rope, one of your coordinates is locked, or at least heavily negated. For simplicity's sake, I'll only cover the axis aligned ropes. On this rope, we warp the spawn hill, which is right over there. When warping, the game tries to set your coordinates to the warp area, but in this case fails to set one of the coordinates due to us being on the rope. When we perform the gamer fling, the game fails to set one of the coordinates, so we are aligned with spawn hill, but we end up way over here, stuck in this place called the cove. Here you see that the first row of the gamer fried sand zombie lines up exactly with the cove. If the cove wasn't removed or moved here, this method wouldn't exist, and you possibly wouldn't have a way to get the sky needle and beyond. Double jump redirecting momentum is just a decision the devs made, and is entirely intentional. But this still lets us get to use that giant speed we get from flinging out of the cove geometry to places we couldn't ever reach. Also, apparently, some modes can actually increase the height you start off with in the beginning in the gamer fling. Crazy, right? These emotes include, or are not limited to, Elton John Elevate. Yeah, they didn't list any others. Oh well. Phew. Now that's all out of the way, we can finally begin the glitch. This time, you just want to reach the edge here. I find running up against the wall should be the most consistent. It doesn't cause you to drop through a collision here because of some weird shit I'm not smart enough to go over. Just know that it works most of the time, so this is what I'm going with, okay? <laughs> Anyways, look forward and slightly to the right and warp to spawn hill. When you load in, jump in the direction you're facing. This will help us redirect our momentum towards this out of bounds area. When you escape the cove and zoom to the void, we want to do a trick named Velocity, discovered by Valoruko. This is performed by warping the Yummy Yummy Yards, jumping away from Yummy Yards, pressing S in space, and then warping back and jumping forward towards the direction of the Sky Needle, basically warping back and forth in a zigzag pattern. Prior to the last video, we had no good reference of where everything is, unless you chart it out in your mind like god gamers. I will now map out the trajectory of some of my clips so you can get a good sense on where everything is. Just be careful not to bonk into anything and lose all your speed. You have to do this a few times to correctly load the sky needle and to position yourself right. If you're in this position, you should be good to jump into it and time your dash perfectly so as to clip inside and to not clip back out. If you did make it here, then congratulations! Now, just remember to enter the door nearest to you to correctly set your spawn point in the Sky Needle. Don't worry, it won't actually send you back to... Well, it doesn't actually exit you. It just sends you back to the Sky Needle. So don't worry. If you made it to the new Sky Needle, sadly there's no things in here, but don't fret. There is a way to transfer over to the old Sky Needle using rail speed. By repeatedly jumping off a rail and air dashing back into it, you can build up speed before launching over to the old Sky Needle. If you wish to visit the new Sky Nil for curiosity's sake, you need the tech roll jump here to gain enough distance to land on the platform outside the door. You are then able to clip into the door by using the Tommy Hel Tommy Hilfiger V pose emote. It's a paid for emote usually, but you can get it for free via the Tommy Play event game. So maybe try and get it before getting to the Sky Needle. Well, that should be all. Now enjoy some gameplay of myself upon arriving to the Sky Needle. Sadly, I didn't know about the new clip into the new Sky Needle you know, this time, so it's just of the old Sky Needle. I would like more footage of the, of the Sky Needle in the description if you feel like checking out the people who made this video possible. With all that being said, Gamer Fling will be patched in the latest update, so you should get to the old Sky Needle while you can. Nevertheless, happy scavenger hunting, whatever you said. <laughs> yes! 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 Oh my god! I got in! I got in!